Hey, great game today, Jake. We keep up like this, we win the finals for real. Thanks, bro. You get awesome on your sister. Like, you've been working with my dad. Hey! <laughs> Good game! Okay, we got people and food at the house. We are going to celebrate! That's my key, Jake. <laughs> Catch you later. Later, bro. Yes. Be safe. Good game. You got somebody coming to pick you up? Uh, no, but I'm waiting on Miss Reynolds. Okay. All right. Well, we'll see you later. Jacob, here's some food. I wish I had more. Appreciate you, Miss Reynolds. Have a great break. He forgot one on break because he's headed towards the gym. Wait up! Hey, where are you headed? Are you headed toward the gym? Yes, ma'am. Why? It's holiday break. It's hot in the gym, and there's some beds in there from the uh, hurricane season. Are you sleeping in the gym? Yes, ma'am. Jacob, you don't have anywhere to go? No family? No, ma'am. Well, why don't you come back to our house for the holidays? I really don't want you sleeping in the gym. You sure? Get in the car. It's you gonna fine. sleep in a real bed tonight and get some real food. You gonna get some turkey and dressing, collard greens. Come on, let's go. Thank you. It's cold outside. I appreciate it. You're welcome. All right, let's go. to deal with that. What? He didn't have anywhere else to go. He's a good kid. I mean, and he don't deserve to be homeless. And how are we supposed to trust him on our belongings? You should have spoken to me about this first. He's not that kind of kid. Listen, he was in the gym eating after school sandwiches. He's not going back there. He's staying here with us and that's that. He was sleeping in the gym. Yes, the gym. He said they had warm cots and stuff from the hurricane. All by himself, huh? Yes. I'm sure he's a very strong kid. I know. That's why we have to help him. I want to help him. So, he got to stay here with us. Fine. But if anything happens, he's your responsibility. Ain't nothing gonna happen. We'll be fine. It better be. We have come a long way together. Jacob, now that your adoption is officially being finalized, I need to ask you some questions. Um, are, are you safe? Do you feel like the Harringtons um, have your best interest at heart? Yes, ma'am. You can be honest with me, Jacob. You are a young black man full of talents and potential. Are you sure these people are not 
trying to take advantage and squeeze you out of more money. With all due respect, I barely heard from the agency when my uncle left me two years into high school. Miss Harrington took care of me and raised me yeah, like family since the day she met me. Uh, what, what happened with your uncle is, is terrible. He did not tell us that he was leaving. I was on my own, he still didn't come check on me. Miss Harrington made sure I was fed, helped me with my schoolwork, and sent me to the best basketball scholarship in the nation. And I applaud you for that. Um, however. There is no however. This discussion is over. I won't let you make my mom into a monster. No, uh, I just need to make sure, and I, am, I apologize. I'm sorry if I offended you, but I'll let you be with your new family. And I'm just glad that you are doing so well. Thanks. Have a nice day, Miss Stacy. I just want to let you know that we are just so proud of you and everything you want to accomplish, you are accomplishing it. And we're just so proud of you, son. I know you were listening in. I just want you to know everything I said was true. I love you guys and I appreciate everything you've done for me. Well, we love you too, Jacob. And you've made our family so much stronger. Just know we're going to always be here for you, okay? Love you, okay? Love you too. All right, let's get out. The moral of the story is, the challenges that you complain about is other people's dreams. There's more to poverty than being homeless. People need love, support, and know that people are there for them to truly be whole.